happens to you guys on stage? Oh, I tell you right now. Nick falling. Oh, uh, <laughs> the uh, well, we're, we're, we were in um, the Budapest, Czech right? Budapest. 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 It's not that big of a deal, but our guitar player Nick, who's not here, he's this big, tall, weird dude. Very athletic looking. So he stood up on the monitor to take a guitar solo, trying to be a rock god. And as the guitar solo ended, he jumped up off of the monitor. And the monitor kicked out under his feet, and he landed flat on his back. And hit the cabinet. Knocked his cab over, couldn't get up, and uh, that was pretty embarrassing. I think that's, that, for this tour, that's the most embarrassing thing. Oh, is that a music style that you despise? You don't like at all? Is there a music style I despise? Uh, I don't think it's like it. You? No, nah, not, not really. Not me. No. I, I really do like all kinds of music. I like, but I like good music. So I like rock music. I like metal, punk rock, hip hop, electronic. Um, I like everything as long as it's real and authentic. Sexy. I don't like. I don't like music that is made. Uh, it's like a formula, you know, like music that's made to for success, you know, to get on the radio. I like real bands, real artists who create something that uh, is authentic and means something. All right. Oh, have you ever had a real, the more wild backstage during your career? Have I? Have you? Have you? Oh, nice. Have we ever what had are you a, trying to do? What, what a are you wild trying? backstage? You're going to get us in trouble here. What are you doing? Every time. <laughs> I think that uh, that time we played uh, chess. We played chess all night long. Remember that? Yeah, that yeah. was exciting. Good po poker parties. Beautiful we poker played, parties. Uh, some, one time we watched a movie. Uh, we uh, we watched two movies. So crazy. We didn't even stop. It's crazy. Back to back movies. <laughs> oh, have you ever thought to be a musician? Have I thought to be a musician? Yes, I did not. Try. No, I'm not. I'm still not a musician. I don't. I know. don't know what the hell we're doing up there. <laughs> No, what I, do you I will, like to do when you want a child? What do you fly? What, uh, what were your plans? What were your plans? I don't know, man. It's uh, it changed as the years went by, but here we are, you know, musicians at the end of the day. You want to be a doctor? You want to be a doctor? <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to be uh, an artist. You know, ever since I was a little kid, I draw, I drew, and I painted, and so I always wanted to be an art artist and create create art. And then uh, when I was about 13 years old. I discovered um, punk rock, like The Clash, The Ramones, The Sex Pistols, and then I was like, holy shit, like I can make music too. You know, anybody can do it. It's not about being some magical being from another planet, although that's what I became. So right around 13 is when I decided I wanted to be in a band. That brought you to the style you are playing. Oh, wow. Well, for me, it wasn't one record. It was a bunch of records. Because what we do is we combine a bunch of different styles, you know. So, for me, the, the records that had a big influence on me, like I said earlier, like those early punk rock records, like The Clash, you know, for the aggression and the and just, the, you know, keeping it raw. And then I started hearing things like Public Enemy and the Beastie Boys, you know, like for hip hop, keep things funky. And then later it was about Prodigy and that electronic sound. So all those things sort of came together to create what we do, you know. We, we, we were not just one thing, we're all things combined. So there wasn't one record for me, other than maybe the Rocky soundtrack. <laughs> He so discovered himself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anybody understands. Yeah, that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, as a guy of your generation, you guys, everybody, what do you think about the, the connection between the internet and the music? Well, connection between the internet and music. Well, it started. It started as a great tool, you know, and I mean. The reality is, is that everybody nowadays can get everything, all their product, the whole look, everything they are through the internet. So it is a good thing, you know, to expose yourself, but as a band, not like get naked or anything, like expose your band out there. But I think at the same time, it took away a little bit of that mystique, like of that 
you know, those huge bands back in the day that, you know, was kind of hard to get a hold of or kind of hard to see those bands. So, you know, it's kind of been, there's a lot of pros, but a lot of cons to it, you know. A lot of people sometimes don't even go to shows because they'll be like, oh, just watch them on YouTube and you're like, you're missing the whole life experience. So, you know, it's, it's got good things both ways, but at the end of the day, I think it can hurt us a little bit just because of the fact that everything is so accessible and you can get the music whatever way you want and people get lazy and they kind of don't want to be involved in shows but you know I think Europe is kind of proving that a little bit you know different to us because in the States it's a little bit different but here it's like you can see metals alive and you have all these huge festivals going on and you're like okay it's still hope you know <laughs> someday I hope to get the internet <laughs> I've been trying to get the internet all day, but there's no Wi-Fi, so it's very, very difficult. Because I need to steal some music. I want to steal a bunch of music I heard today, because I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> That's the pro. That's the problem right there. I've never stolen music. My, I've That's never. A statement against the uh, uh, internet. Stuff. Hey, I still buy CDs. And I buy everything online, you know. I still like, buy cassettes. Cassettes. The spiders got cassettes. I like cassettes. He does mixtapes. Great yeah, mixtapes. You know, like track. You put know. a cassette in the car. Turn yeah. it up. I like it's how, good. It's, it's, that's how I like to listen to my music. Makes him feel good. Young. What are you listening to right now? What am I listening to? Yeah. You. Yeah. I mean, I'm not an artist. I got. Uh, what do I listen to? Uh, I got the new Deant word, and I got the new Lana Del Rey. I actually, it's all women. I actually got the new St. Vincent. It's pretty amazing. All right. And uh, actually, Arctic Monkeys, amazing album too. God damn. No, no metal. No metal. <laughs> and he's a salsa player. He doesn't. He's deaf. He doesn't listen to music. <laughs> Can you make your sizes? <laughs> he's a deaf drummer. That's why he plays so bad. <laughs>